Welcome to the fastest stuff in town. Today we're going to set this Baba Kama Daf Lamed Zion. We're going to begin on Lamed Zion and by the new Mishnah. Says the Mastingson. Shor Shehu Muad Leminoi Veinu Muad Lesheinu Minoi So you have an ox that is a Muad when it comes to its kind. In other words, whenever it's around its kind, it acts crazy and ends up goring. However, when it's around other types of animals, it doesn't do anything. Or, let's say you have a shore that whenever it sees a person, it starts goring. But, if it sees an animal, it doesn't do anything. Let's say it's, it's a muid for katanim, and it's not a muid for gadoilim. So Rashi says, what do you mean It's referring to a golem, big versus small animals. Eshehu muid lo mishalim nezek shalim. Eshehu muid lo mishalim chatsi nezek. So the Mishnah says, that which you're a muid for, so then you pay full damages because you're a muid. However, uh, anything which you're not a muid for, then you only pay chatsi nezek. So it's an interesting point the Mishnah is actually telling you that it's possible you you could be a muid for certain thing animals and a tom for the other things. I'm with Rabbi Yehuda. So on this Rabbi Yehuda, they said to Rabbi, they said in front of Rabbi Yehuda, "How is a muid lo shabasa is a muid lo Let's say for whatever reason this animal loves goring on Shabbos. Why would you want to gore on Shabbos? What a beautiful day! Rashi says, "Lefi shehu batel memalacha the zacha daitelav." So when it's working, it burns off energy. It's doing things productive. On Shabbos, you don't work your animals. So that causes the animal to act differently. And therefore, let's say it's a mood on Shabbos, not a mood on Choyl. So, Takin Tui says that you would uh, not have to pay full damages if it would damage during the weekday. So, Emosai Hutam. So when does this animal become a tom. Mishiachser boy gimel yimei shavasais. Once three shavases go by, and Rashi says v'loy nagach, and it didn't gore for three shavases in a row. Chazal temusai. Then it becomes a tom again. Vim chazal nagach in mishalom elchatzinesik. So now, if it gores again, even though it was goring all, every single shavas for years, but it stopped for three. So then, let's say <coughs> two months later, it didn't gore. <coughs> and then all of a sudden, gores, and you only pay chatzin nesek. Says the Gemara, Idmar. Razvid oimer ve'enu muad tanan. Rapapa oimer e'no muad tanan. The question is, do we throw in the vav? E'no muad or ve'eno muad? Well, what's the difference? So, we're going to, the Gemara is going to say, but let's see this Rashi. Ve'eno muad tanan. This is according to Rav Zvid. Ve'en muad l'she'eno minay. In other words, it's not a muid for someone, an animal which is not a muid, not as min. Diadinan be doi nagach. We know for sure that it has not gored something which is enominoi. Ukagain davrin hulahu kemebo nagach. It's walked in front of other animals and it did not gore. Hilka chlamil shenoi muid lo. And when it comes to an animal which is not a muid, to, to that animal, im nocho achrasman misham chatinezek. Then you pay half. That's because you know as a fact that it's had opportunities to gore and it didn't. Even though it was right in front of an animal, it didn't gore it. So therefore it shows that in fact it's a tom. But according to Rav Zvid, he's of the opinion that if you don't know, we could assume an animal that's goring an ox is probably going to gore another animal too. And it only when you know definitively. And therefore, that's the din of, of Zvid, which means obviously where Papa disagrees with this. And this is what the Gemara says now. So, Razvid Oimer Ve'enu Muad Tanan Hostam Havi Muad. As we said, <coughs> as long as what this animal is a Muad, we don't care if, let's say, we hasn't gored another type of an animal. We could just uh, assume stam that it probably will, 
And therefore, the only time it will not be a muad for the other animals is if you actually saw this animal in its presence and not gore. That even if you didn't know, we're going to still assume that maybe this animal is only a muad for its kind, but not for it. So how do we see this in our Mishnah? So Rav Zvid Daik Masef, Rav Papa Daik Marisha. So Rav Zvid Daik Masef, what's the end of the Mishnah? It says like this. There's a muad for small, but not for big. Now, that we know for sure that it's not a muad because you saw it nearby. But if let's say you don't know just the, the status quo, when it's like in between, that would just assume it is a mood for all these animals. So how come ones come to the chinnishes? You feel a katanim gedolim nami mestama havi mood. Even from gedolim to from katanim to gedolim is also considered to be a mood. So that's the chinnish that even though it's if it's a mood for a katan, it may not necessarily it'll it'll be a mood for a gadol unless. You actually saw they didn't do anything. And the chiddush is that even mikatanim gadolim, even from small to big, we would say the same thing that we're going to assume it's a, it's a um, a mood. In other words, picks what what do bullies do? They pick on something smaller. So maybe this animal is just a mood for small animals. But when it comes to a huge animal, it's not going to mess around with a huge animal. No, we say the chiddush is that even stam, if you didn't see it. We're going to still assume that this animal is a mood even for Gedolim. If you want to tell me that stam, that this animal will be considered still not a mood. So, so el iyamr ain't a mood katani stama will have you mood. It should just say stam will not be a mood. So hashdi yishlomer katani katani the alma stam will have you mood because you can make a dia and say that even from one small animal to another. Stam would not be a muid, so Makatanu Gadolam Srikal Mayim or Dol Habi Muid. Why does that to give the example of Makatan Mukadolam? Right? Uh, certainly would say it would not be a muid if it would be Mastama. Okay. So that's how he makes a diak. Rapapa Imrulach Itzrach. You still need to mention the case of small to big. Why? Salkadat Ramina Hoyul Parits Bay Bahahumina Parits Bay. We see that this animal is <coughs> making a breach or it attacks a particular animal. It doesn't matter if it's big or small. The Kiddush is that it's not considered to be a muid. Um, fine. So maybe that's the, the point. They, we don't make a distinction. Maybe we wouldn't make a distinction. It said that if you're a muid for hurting an animal, a person rather, so that does not mean that you're, this animal is a muid for, for animals. Now, what could what diak does he make from here? That's Tamil Havi Muid. That if let's say again it gored a person, and we have no idea if it's gonna gore an animal, we'll just assume it doesn't, and it'll be not a muid. So how come Ashman if you have other muid? It's a great chiddush. That even though it attacked a person and in which <clears throat> you would think an animal should not be attacking a person, their na- nature is not to attack a person. So you would think that if an animal attacks a person, then you would think a beh- the, any behema, even if it didn't gore another animal, but you would still say, stop, maybe it should be a muid, because if it gores people, then certainly it's going to gore an animal. So the chiddush is, it would be a great chiddush to say that, no, that stop, maloi have a muid. Eliyam revein a muid, katani, that the animal, stam will be considered a muid, an animal to another animal, we would say it's a muid. So, obviously, from a person to an animal, it's a muid. Because if it's even from an animal to an animal, in which it makes sense, maybe it will harm a different type of an animal. From one animal, we see it damages. So, then maybe the other animal certainly will. So, when it comes to a person, which is a tremendous, tremendous. Uh, Chiddush, that an animal is going to damage and harm a person. You don't need to tell me that that when it comes to stam that you would be a uh, chayiv for damages. Uh, this animal would be like a muid for that. Okay, 
So as vid amil lach reisha achazarakoi. The reisha, according to him, is going on the return. What is that? Says Rashi. The he gufa itzrach. We need this itself. The abahemu lo mishalim el chatenezik. The chiddush is that you do not have to pay except for half damage when it comes to an animal. The Afghav says Rashi the idle the idle even though the animal is a muid hoyav hader be chazal tamuse that if it goes back. Um, after it hasn't been goring an, an animal anymore, it becomes a tom. The Afghan will hutter beim adam, even though let's say it did not retract from a person. So if you see that it's chayzer for a, a, a behema, so it can become a tom for the animal, but not for a nestle for adam. And therefore, that's the whole chiddush. So let's see this inside. So Rav Zvida or Melach Reisha Achazar Koi. It changes and goes back to its status of being a tom. Kigoyin to have you more the adam and more the behema. The animal is a mood for harming animals and people alike. Vahadim and Behema, and it retracted from harming animals. Dikoi Gabi Behema, Tlasa Zimni Vlo Nagach. Why? Because you saw it was around an animal three times, it didn't gore, so it became a Tom with regard to animals. So, Maudetame Kiva Noi Hadim and Adam, since the animal did not change its attitude toward people, every time it sees a person, it still gores them. Chazil Behema, the Lav Chazarhi. You would think that the fact that it's, it didn't gore an animal doesn't change anything. The animal should still be a mood. Kamash one, the chazar de behema mia chazarhi. Even though it's still a mood when it comes to an adam, it's now a tam because, again, it was in the presence of a, an animal multiple times and it did not do any damage. So, therefore, that is, that's the reason why <coughs> um, it becomes a, a tam. Okay. So again, it only didn't give, it only didn't gore by Behema three times. But this test didn't take place with Adam. Still, it's a Tom again for animal. So Sumcha says that when you have uh, an, someone with an animal, it's a mood for a person, then, which is an animal harming a person, is. A terrible but big chiddush that would do such a thing. So a mood of behema, mekabel chayim, and certainly the animal is a mood for an animal. Malu adam mood, la behema kosher came. So madach when it comes to an animal, the animal is already a mood because and it's because it keeps growing people. So then certainly it's going to be a mood for animals. Mechalat the tanakama in a mood of chaimer. Just mashma is actually must be a machloi because some chos tanakama the tanakama hold that this animal is not necessarily a mood. So when we don't learn out a kabel chaimer. As we said before, he was going back on the animal that was already a muid, and then it became a tam. According to you, the Tanakhama says that when an animal is in the presence of another animal a few times, it doesn't do anything, therefore it becomes a tam. So uh, the truth is maybe it shouldn't do anything. Mama Adamo loy kama hader be and behema loy kama shmo lo kol shekain. So if it didn't retract from being an a, from harming people, so we'll say it also it remains a mood regarding animals. But the Tana Kama disagrees and says the animal goes back to the status of being a tam, like our Mishnah as we explained before. Omer Rav Ashi Toshma. So come in here. Omer if there be who um. So it's in, said in front of Rabbi Yehuda, "Har is a mood the Shabbos and a mood liam mimos achayil." You have an animal that gores continuously on Shabbos, but not at all during weekdays. So it's a mood when it gores animals on Shabbos, but it's not considered to be an a, a, a mood if it gores ever on a weekday. And if it does, you only pay chatzin nezek. So I'm going to handle Shabbos. So it's mishal nezek shalom mimos achayil mishal chatzin nezek as we said. Now, i am a bishul of a mood katani. If you want to tell me that the lashon is a mood, which means that it's only considered to be not a muid when you actually saw it not gore, but stam it would be a muid. So therefore, shiuli hu dekam shayle. This is actually like this is the question. Vhu nami kamahadir luhu, and this is how he is uh, responding back. Says Rashi, hey chad chazina and dehu el shabbosays. If you see an animal is definitely muid on Shabbos, v'me achayol lo nagach. My Dina. So this was his question. <coughs> What's the din? And we're giving him an answer. 
and we're saying that oh you didn't see the animal doesn't matter it's still considered to be a muid uh, unless uh, again you again you saw it not damaged if you saw it not damaged it will not be a muid eliyamr the animud animud katani gemuri who to come megamrile he's teaching sounds like he's teaching their uh, rebbe. Masu, furthermore, Ihu, my what what is he answering? So it's proof to Rav Zvid. Om Rav Yana Miresha Namideka. The truth is from the beginning of the mission can also prove the Gatani Eshemuid Loi Mishom Nezek Shalom Ish in a Muid Lo Mishom Chatsi Nezek. That which it's a Muid, you pay full damages. What that which is not a Muid, you pay Chatsi Nezek. So yeah, Rav Yishlove in a Muid Katani that it's a Muid even when you don't know. Unless you actually saw the animal not gore, so that makes sense. The animal katani purushi come law. So basically, it's coming to explain it. Says Rashi, I did the nakat le mishum the yuka today did I kin on hostam havi muid al karchach aski lamilse. This is what it's doing because according to this opinion, stam it is a muid. Ela iam re animuid katani so paska. It already established it is a tam. My su as shemuid lo mishalom chatsi nezek. Then she ain't muid lo. Oh, sorry. Let me read that again. My, what does it mean then? Su su. Furthermore, as shemuid lo mishalom nezek shalom. Then she ain't muid lo mishalom chatsi nezek. Ad hashda until now lo hashminan the hatam mishalom chatsi nezek. Muid mishalom nezek shalom. Do we already know that? We already know, of course. That's what the din is. Maybe he's come to teach us the din of Rav Papa that Stama is not a muid. So Nagach Shor Chamar Ben Kamal Nasa Muid Lakoil. So if an ox, the term is Nami Isel Rav Papa Nagach Shor Chamar. If an ox gored a donkey, Ben Kamal Nasa Ben Kamal Nasa Muid Lakoil. Says Rashi. Vlo Beinin Gimel Negicha Yisol Chol Chad Vachad. You don't need uh, separate negichos for each type of a species of animal. Yachar The fact that it gored three times, uh, even though it was on different different types of animals, uh, it was nagach shor chamor. This is how you're supposed to read it. Nagach shor chamor v'gamal nasimul koil. It's a mood for all those animals. Ton of them. Rom shor nagach shor. If you see an ox gore an ox, lo nagach shor. I'll make sure I'm reading this correctly. Ra shor nagach, shor lo nagach, shor nagach, shor lo nagach, shor nagach, shor lo nagach. So what happened? On one one time the ox gored. The next time it didn't. It did. It didn't. It didn't. didn't. Nasimud lo seirugin leshvarim. It can become a muid because of the same pattern that's taking place. The fact that we see that um, it says Rashi im yigach retsuvim. If it gores. Consecutively, in Mishal El Chatsi Nezek Al Acharin, you do not pay on the. Okay, we're not up to that. But again, basically, what it's saying is that there is a pattern, and therefore, gore three times, even though it gore didn't gore, gore didn't gore, gore, gore didn't gore. <coughs> but the fact that it did this three times, so therefore, it's going to become a muid. Talk about Roshor Naga Hamor. Okay, let's read this again. Ra shor nagach, right? You saw an ox gore, then chamor lo nagach. It was with a donkey. It didn't gore. Sus nagach, it don it gored a, a horse. Gamal lo nagach, pere nagach, arud lo nagach. It keeps switching off, but it's not the same species. Nasimud le sirugin lechoil. So in this case, it becomes sirugin for all of those animals, and therefore any animal that does that he does damage with is going to be chayv nesik shalim. Iboilhu, nagach. As we continue the Lamed Zion and Medbeis, nagach shor, shor, v'shor chamor v'gamal mahu. Okay, hopefully I'm going to read this correctly. Says Rashi, im tims chamor v'gamal shor shor v'shor mahu. So it did all all this goring, but it was not exactly in the same order. So mahu high shor batra. 
this last ox, Basr Shvarim Shadinle, do we go Basr the oxen? He caught the Shvarim who the ayid, and maybe it's only mood for an ox because the court knocks three different times. Lamida Akhrina Loy ayid, anything else is not. Odilma, high shore, Batra, the last shore, Chamor be Gamal Shadinan be, the ayid le Lukulamini. So it's a Gordon. Shore, 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 then Chamor Gamal. So the question is, this shore, the third time it says shore, the third goring of a shore. So do we say it's a mood for shore, a shore? Or do we say it's also because it's shore Chamor Gamal, as we said, that <coughs> you would be, you would be, uh, it would be a mood for everything? So that's the question. Shen be the Idle Lukulamini. So Chamor Gamal, so that's question. That's one question. You can ask a bunch of questions. What if it's Chamor Gamal Shore? So it's the same thing, but it wasn't Shore Shore Shore, but it was the other way around. He gored a donkey, then a camel, and then an ox, uh, and then a then a shore, and then Shore Shore Mao High Shore Kama. The first one Basar Chamor Gamal Shadin Lei. We say it goes after the first two. Chamor, it's Chamor Gamal and Shore. The idle Luku, meaning it becomes a, a mood for all animals. Old Dilma, Buster Shvarim Shadin Lei. Because it was three Shorim, three, four, uh, incident three, four, and five. The Kadir Shvarim Hudi Idle, meaning it's only a mood for um, a Shore, not the other animals. So that's the Gemara. Um, Shabbos, Shabbos, for Shabbos. Echa b'Shabbos, v'Sheni b'Shabbos, Mahu. So you have a gourd on Shabbos and Shabbos, and then the third time is on Shabbos, and but then next was Monday and then a Tuesday. So you have Shabbos Monday Tuesday, which are consecutive. That's a pattern. Shabbos 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 is a pattern. So the question is Mahu. So Ha Shabbos Basra says third Shabbos Basra Shabbos to the Shandalim and Katul and Shabbos Hodi Yadalim Basra Chol Yayid. That's only considered to be a mood for on Shabbos, but not on a weekday. Well, Dilma no Basra Echad. The third Shabbos is linked to the fourth and fifth incidents that took place on Sunday and Monday. So therefore, maybe we should say there's a pattern of Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. There's a mood for all days. Maybe just Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay. So that's another question. Hey, Shabbos, we have Shabbos for Shabbos. Shabbos for Shabbos. So again, Shabbos is in the middle, but it's the same thing as we said before by the animals, but here we're using days of the week, and Shabbos, again, is the third, but Shabbos, Shabbos, fourth and fifth were Shabbos, not one and two, but four and five also. Mao, Har Shabbos, Kamaisa, Basar, Heba Shabbos, Heba Shabbos, Shadin, and we go after Thursday and Friday, Levi, Yadu, Kuhu, Yayim, it's a mood for all days. Odema, Har Shabbos, Kamaisa, Basar, Shabbos, to the Shadin, because after all, Three, four, and five are all on the same day. It's on Shabbos. So Shabbos is the ayid. Teku. Okay. Vaiter nagach shor yom tesvav b'chaydish. Zeh. Ox cord on the fifteenth of the month, right when the the full moon is out. Yom tes zayin b'chaydish zeh. The next month on the sixteenth. Yom yud zayin b'chaydish zeh, and then the seventeenth. So it's a pattern, 15, 16, 17. So, Plut and Rabbi Shmuel. This is actually a machlokis between the Shittas of Rabbi Shmuel, the Itmar. This has nothing to do with Nida. Ra'asa yoyim tes v'al b'chaydish. Zeh, v'yoyim tes zayin b'chaydish zeh. V'yoyim yud zayin b'chaydish zeh. So you have a woman that sees Dam um, in a pattern. So if there's a pattern, so then we could assume that there's a vest. We could assume that next time the next month rolls around, that day, even though she didn't see Dom, we should be still chayshish that she may do this because this is her her pattern. So Rabbi Oymer kavul a vest. This actually is kavea vest. Shmuel Oymer anshim shtamish b'dilug. Which basically means she tishalish b'dilug. Which basically means she needs to see a fourth time to establish it. Okay, let's look at Rashi. Shmuel Oymer ad Shadishalish Bedilug. Actually let's see the let's see the Rashi before that. So Medhil Hai Sali Mudab Yamim Acherim Kabla Vas Ladilug. Because again you have this pattern of fifteen to seven sixth and seventh month. The Khi Khazakh or Eel is Shlishis. Uh once she sees it the third time on the seventeenth of the month, Shlishi uh uh Bukhari Shli Bukhari Shlishi Dai Shaita. 
Veinu matalma taharos me esel ace. So she's not all, we're, so we're not, it's not going to be matalma taharos me esel ace. Kenan kol isha sheishel vest, daishaita. So the din of daishaita is a tremendous chiddush, she's brought down the status nida, is that what happens if she sees that she has, she, she saw dam. And the question is, did she just see the Dom, or maybe she saw Dom before and she was Tomei? And what happens, let's say, within the time frame of a day before, that she came in contact with, with Tahara, with pure items and food stuff, such like that? So the question is, if there is a vest, if this is the time, which is like a pattern, then we can say Daishaita, that when she saw it is exactly when she became Tomei, and therefore it is Matahir, everything Loma Freya. Um, fine. Shmuel Oimer Achin Shalash Medilig. Ain la vest kavu Achitira Ria Revias. I have to do a fourth. Bahachin Nami Lora Begim on the Gicha is Nasamuid. When it comes to an animal that's gores on three different days of the month, it becomes a muid. Ladilig Mishom Nesak Shalom Bishlishis. On the third time, it has to already pay full damages. Well, Shmuel Achin Gach Revias. According to Shmuel, says the fourth time. The Kamaisa love. He says, because the first one isn't counted. So it's the saying the same thing that the machlokas is taka whether or not you're chayt, uh, on the third time or only on the fourth time. Okay, let's get to the Mishnah, and we're actually going to stop at that Mishnah. So let's see. So Omer Rava, sh- uh, Shama Koyal Shoifar. Let's see, hear the sound of a Shofar. V'nagach Kol Shoifar. V'nagach Kol Shoifar. V'nagach Nasamud L'Shoifarois. And it keeps, every time he hears a Shofar, it starts smashing the Shofar. So it becomes a Muid for Shoifarois. So Pshita, obviously, if it keeps doing this, we see every time the shofar is blowing, it starts destroying a sh- every shofar in sight. That's pretty obvious. Maybe the first time the shofar was blasted, maybe then the first time doesn't count because it only gored the first shofar because of a reaction to the loud sound. And maybe it was afraid. And therefore, it's siyuta ba'almahu. As Rosh says, biyusa. So therefore, maybe it would not necessarily be um, that that first time wouldn't count. Kamash it does. Okay, we're gonna again stop here, but let's look at maybe or hopefully a couple questions. Question ten. Rosh or nagach shor Rosh or nagach shor velo nagach shor nagach shor velo nagach lechen oid pa many many times beez in the gicha. So, that's what we just said. Posh it in Rashi. It's a machok as Raman Shmuel. Is it three times or is it four? T A 25. There was a mood for an animal, a person, certainly going to be mood for an animal. How's a shaykh can be a mood for? Only a person and not an animal. So he said, So he said, <coughs> on Ahmed Aleph, I got this right, which is a pretty simple question, that in the event that you have uh, a case where the animal is a muid uh, for both, an animal and a person, I'm trying to find it, um, and then it retracts. Let's see what it says. Kivandoli hadabeim adam. So it's over here. Kigayin de havi muad adam muad le behema. Vahadabeim a behema to kagabe behema tos a zimna voloi nagach. So that's the case. So in that situation, the fact that this animal has um, was a muad for adam and behema, but then it stopped goring animals, so therefore it's possible that. It could still, it could become a tom for an animal and remain a muid for a person, which again is a chiddush because we said that l'chayr you would think if it's a muid for an other for an adam, certainly should be a muid for a behemoth. Question 
TB26. Ezu short tam hamasham nezik shalom al nagi chasai lakuli alma. Ezu short tam hamasham nezik shalom. Okay, we didn't do this yet. Adkam. 